All right. Is it going? Hello? Testies? One, two, three? Ha! Ah, all right. Gingy! You wait till I just start streaming and you start fucking hollering. Gingy, come here, you turkey. Ginger. Gingy. Ginger, come here, kitty. Gingy. Ginger, come here. Come here, buddy. Let everybody see who's whining. Come here. What a fucking turkey. Normally that cat is all... Come here, Gingy. Normally that cat's all over me. Come on, buddy. Come here, Gingy. Good old Ginger. Come on. Come here. Well, whatever. I was, I was trying to give you a little camera time, dude. <laughs> all right. Good morning, guys. Oh my god, it's cold as shit outside here in Virginia. Fuck. Cold as shit. But nice and warm in the house, so. So we got some patch notes here. The patch notes look good. I'm very happy about some of these patch notes. So a major re rework to pathing. This should alleviate issues where mobs, pets would walk through walls. Please submit any bugs to our forums and make sure to include screenshots of where the issue occurred. Okay, so it sounds like that they've done their first major rework and now they're going to stand back and take a look to see if anything else is fucked up. Reasonable. Uh, merchants have arrived at Darkness Falls. These merchants offer their wares in exchange for blood seals. Okay, alright. Midgard, Classic, Svartis, and Dragon Zone Svartis are now two separate factions. This is live-like, as of the dragon campaigns. Okay, cool. Many monsters have been given the ability to evade. Ooh. Now that's some... That's some potentially big dick stuff, right? I mean, I was fighting... I was fighting... Where the fuck are we at? Hmm. Oh, I thought it was... Uh, hi, Moochie Chee. Hi, Cheesy Chee, little blind baby. You see Moochie? Hi, Chee Chee. He's gonna go to her spot. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Get down. There, little Moochie. Um, yesterday I was fighting one of these named uh, knights over here, right? So I fucking attack him. He blocks. And I'm like, ah, that sucks. Then he fucking stuns me. Pap! I'm like, what? That's fucking cool. I can name on my hands how many mobs I've ran into that do something besides just stand there and just swing a weapon. You know, there's a couple that'll cast like a stun, something will cast a poison, and you got like the little alleles, the ellies, you know, they'll throw fucking a nice DD uh, fireball at you. But that's kind of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now some of the, of course, the mob bosses and shit had some kind of something. But regular, like this rot worm, it's just a fucking worm. This rat, it's just a fucking rat. Well, now they've given them the ability to evade on some mobs. Ooh, that's going to make it cool. I wonder what kind of mobs. I wonder if they're trash mobs, mid mob, you know, mid-level mob. You know, we're, we're going to see. Hopefully we run into something that does something. Let's see, the wife said... Okay, well, she said something about... Alright. <laughs> Love my wife, right? So this morning she sends me a message, Yo, we need something for supper. So if you go out today, go grab something for supper. Well, I went out this morning and I got something for supper. She sends me a message, Hey, I'm going to take a longer than, uh, longer than normal lunch so I can go to Kroger and get something for supper if you don't want to go out. I already went out. Oh, there's Gingy in the corner. So let me tell her. I went out this morning and I got some Dr. Pepper, comma, and a pizza. Comma, if there's anything else you want to get, okay. Good deal. Sorry, guys. Life stuff. 
All right. Oh, looks like we got one more Huckleberry. I'll be a Huckleberry. Let's do some of that. Oh, wait. Let's turn off the TV in the background. Ain't shit on TV to fucking watch anyways. Who's discording me already? Synthol. Hey, hey. Good morning, bud. All right, so let's uh, let's head to that red dot, baby, and do oh, oh, oh. and do what red dots do. bit of this, a little bit of that. What's up, Ralph? What's up, Guardian? Oh, merchants all up in there, eh? Ah, fuck oh, Jesus Christ. Slow serpent. Yeah, I want to see even trash mobs. I want to see the motherfuckers have the ability to evade. Everything should be, have a, some kind of chance to evade, even one percent chance. But you know, like rats, well, like a ten percent chance, right? They're a fucking rat. Yeah, more abilities. That's cool, dude. I mean, Dark Age of Camelot was that kind of simple game when it came out. You know, it was just. All the mobs just did this. That was it. You know, they swung at you. I mean, they didn't do uh, anything special, and it made the game feel very one. Genji, stop! Made the game feel very uh, one-dimensional and uh, old. Uh, you know, just old. I mean, graphics are shit you can overlook. You know, like the graphics. These graphics are fine for me. I don't I don't need some realistic stuff. Ginger. Ginger, hey. Hey, Captain. Do you know Chata? Shut the fuck up. Now, if he keeps whining, I'll go see what's going on. But he's a vocal kitty, man. He, he likes to howl and whine and walk around and complain. Ooh, I wonder if it's... Let us see before we do anything silly here. Oh, all right. Fucking Grizzletooth. Is that you? Nope. Grizzletooth is right there. What up, Grizzy T? Let's go ahead and drag you out over here for a minute. All right. There we go. Go. Nice. Suck it, Grizzle too. I like the mace. Later, Gator. Alright. Oh, we got somebody else on the map. We're looking for Ran Rangfar. Rangfar. This way. My mighty trusty steed. And away we go. Oh, hello, Mr. Swamp Mare. Some random kind of horse. What's up, bud? 
Ooh, you look gross. I think you got that deer wasting disease. Oh, getting closer and closer to release, dude. It's gonna be so fucking cool. There's gonna be so many people playing. There's gonna be fucking asses and elbows and just just people just packed in this fucking game. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic. There's gonna be people who didn't play any of the beta, didn't play any of it, and they're gonna log in and be like, blah, blah, blah. everybody tell me what I need to do. <laughs> and then there's gonna be fucking you know people who've played forever who played the beta who are just gonna jump right in and you know, walk their way through and shit. Ooh, rank var. All right. Looks like a decent spot here. So let's uh, uh, let's do a little bit of chin checking. Some chin checking. It's on, I reckon. And we're gonna do a little something like that. Uh oh, after parry. Crack. And of course, it didn't do it. Crack. Nice block, but I'm not gonna make it. Give me a block. Come on, baby. See that? 10 2. Oh, nice. I, I mean, it's not awesome, but it's better than what I was using. It's got a DD on it. Level 29 DD. Oh, nice. Cool. Wait, no. <clears throat> no, it was slower. Yeah. So I went from a 4.2 to a 3.7. That's going to that's gonna help out significantly. When it comes to the uh, attack speed and stuff, I fucking love that. That surge of maiming. I mean, because like the Reaver, you know, the the, the Reaver is just like any other regular. Uh, I, I, what I'm trying to say is his regular melee damage isn't like great. His just regular attacks, it's just like normal. Um, you know, what gets him hot and horny is his ability to do the side attack and life tap and then the fucking rear attack, annihilation or whatever. No, annihilation's a two-hander for a... Oh shit, almost leveled. Love it. The wife says, all right, well, I'm going to go to Kroger's anyways and look for some snacks. Nice. That's my girl. Fucking love my wife. Greatest woman I've ever known in my life. Uh, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and... Uh, go to Cornwall. Let's take a trip to the corn. Oh, still not 50? No, sir. No, sir. Let's see. I'm, uh, what am I at? 29. 29. I'll hit 50 the day before I 50 releases. <laughs> I'll hit 50 the day I 50. The day before. <laughs> Fuck. But it's cool, man. I look for something to play. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Let's see. I think the dude in here. 
It's funny when everybody asks for the guy in here for the quest. They're like, ah, he's in the back laying down. He ain't laying down. Oh, he's wounded. I thought he was drunk. <laughs> but it straight up says wounded, so it, it wouldn't be fair to call him a drunk. All right, let's sell some of this shit. Okay, can't sell that. We shall delete it. So. That's an interesting belt. Oh, that's a better belt. Hmm. Oh shit, goddamn those. So, Bowmaster's Bracer. Oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking cool, dude. All right. I'll put that one on the market. <laughs> Emboss Gladius. Uh, Shadow Slicer. Aw, oh, I'm not even going to... I hate the look of them tiny-ass little... That's it. Alright, reset back down. Let's make our way out of here. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who, what the fuck? Who do, who do you belong to? What, what, what are you? Just some random little fucking animated... There's no caster around here to assume it's a familiar or something. That's just weird, man. Just a little weird. Synthal, what are these, dude? What? They look like the the mob in... Uh, but, I mean, why are there many ones just walking around? That's like a little creepy. Little sentient beings are just walking around. What the fuck is that? Am I not high enough level? I need one more fucking level, don't I? I need one more fucking level. Uh, Battlegrounds, I'm 29. Bramir, Albion. Fuck. We shall uh, do this. Nope, that's, that's why I was going to check the Battleground quest. But I also haven't done any other area quests. I think I just need to go to a different area. Like, uh... Fuck, I don't know what it's... I've only been to, uh... The, the one area, so let's... Let's see, like, uh... Castle Savage? If I can't find any here in a minute, I'll go to, to, just to the fucking Battlegrounds. Uh, south. Let me out, you bugger! <sighs> Camelot Hills. Okay, yeah, Camelot Hills. So let me go to. Shit, let me come over here and get a little bit of that. Yes, I did see that they moved the wikis. Somebody was giving them a bunch of shit about it in the Discord, too. And the guy, you know, the, the staff was like, listen, it takes a ton of energy and effort to make, you know, the patch notes for the Discord and then to put the patch notes in the game and then to put the patch notes on it. So they're like, we're just going to fucking do it here. That's it. And the guy was like, well, it's easier for me. And the, the staff person was like, yeah, but it's easier for me. Yeah, finished all the ones in camp. Yeah, finished all the ones in camp. I haven't done any dungeons or nothing. Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. There should be a guy. Uh, Lynn Barvon? What the fuck? I wonder what love. Why is this a different color? 
Yeah, I guess Lynn is where I'm going. Why are these blue? Do you know, Synthel? Like, all the other quests are, like, yellow. These are blue. Chaos Reaver, several dark forces has taken up residence in the area. I require a brave explorer to purge it of these most unsightly enemies. Return to me once you have conquered this foe. I absolutely recommend... I absolutely recommend everybody uh, read these the first time. If you're new to the game or whatever, the people who do the quest took time to go ahead and... I just accepted it real quick because I've done them before. <laughs> and I've already read the stories. Alright. Let's go to Lynn. Alright. Yeah, dungeon quests are great. And then you get that myth too. What are you doing today, man? What are you up to? What's Uni doing? She had to watch the kid yesterday or something. Uh-oh. Today, Sinful, today. The green screen stuff shows up. So, like, back here is going to be the green screen, and I'm going to put stuff back here. Like, flying dildos and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't blame you. The only thing keeping me going is I want to get to some kind of PvP with the, with the Reaver and at least fucking shred of a couple people. <laughs> That's what's pushing me through is my hatred. I want to go do some RVR on something that's not a stealth tune. And yeah, Look at the battlegrounds right now. They're all in bad shape. No, <laughs> Nobody's playing anymore. Two, three, five, zero, zero. A lot of people taking a break. Only 280 online. While you're there, if, if you're just at your desktop fucking around, can you see how many people are playing, like, retail? How can we find out how many people are playing retail? Dark Age of Camelot. Like the live version. I watched a dude stream live yesterday like 10 minutes. I couldn't understand anything that was going on anymore. It was insane. He was like a nightshade and... I just don't know. <laughs> I mean, he did something with a flute and I mean it was crazy. I'm like, I, I just, just... Let's see. DAOC population. Let's see. Dark Age Camelot. Mm, population. Mm. This has to be old as fuck. Active players in the last month. 2002, 11, 17. Nah, can't be right. Ah, that's weird. Okay, hold on. Hey, check this out. That can't be right, man. That can't be right. It doesn't look right. Okay, this way. Alright, here we go. Look, it's Afnak. 
but af afunk afants have af afont I'm not sure it would be cool if like whoever created it would actually give us tell us what it says um check out my fire be right back Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And back at it. Alright, what's up here? What am I up here chasing down? Mm, Bloggins? Nah. Okay, so it's not them. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can see why some you know reavers can get a bad name. Uh, uh you know, a, a bad reaver or an out of practice reaver can fuck shit up. Um, uh, busting mez. I mean, they're if you're not sure which pulse you have on, and then you accidentally click the wrong one off or whatever. All right, this is obviously a named mob, and he's not fucking here. All right, so well, let's let's roll out. All right, down into the water over here. Here we go. Oh, that green screen's gonna come today. Still not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna do fucking something cool with it, man. Okay. It does. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah, I mean, I could do that with the, the macro stuff. Thank you. 
a fucking troll down there, dead, and <laughs> drowned, leaning up against a, a box. I need four more. You know what? Okay, I just turned off my EXP here because I'm like already kind of out leveling these dudes here. So the next level they would all go gray and then I wouldn't be able to get any fucking. Oh, it is so cold out here, Synthol. How cold is it where you're at? The life tap is kind of close. The other thing is a good distance. So, good morning, Uni. So, so I was looking on the next wax match, but anyways, I read that in 2020, all Blizzard games no longer be available in China, and I went, I wonder why. What? What is that? Something bad happened. Something bad happened. If Blizz, if Blizzard is shutting down the ability to play. The game without a, uh, uh, what is it, a fucking, uh, yeah, we change IP address, uh, if they're, you know, what, what, you know, so China can't play Blizzard games anymore, is, is that what you're fucking telling me, why, I mean, you had to have read an article, why, that is huge, nobody gives up China money, is what I'm trying to say, nobody, America will suck China's cock with movies, video games. All China's got to do is be like, oh, no, we know sell it here if that's included in it. You know, especially like gay, lesbian stuff. There ain't down with none of that, dude. They'll, they won't allow movies in their country if, if two dudes kiss or whatever. Uh, for any company to do business in China, they need a Chinese partner company. I got gotcha, you. Kind of like TikTok here in America. America wants TikTok to be at least partially owned by an American company, not China doing business here in America. Uh, interesting. So what they're probably saying is, you know, in order, was that China's decision or Blizzard's? That's going to be the key right there. Did China say, no, 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 you can't come in our country anymore with your bullshit unless you sell or 
give control of the Chinese portion to a Chinese or if it was Blizzard saying that it had to be China okay that makes it different I thought Blizzard was putting their foot down and being like yo we're tired of being fucked around and you know having to acquiesce to your you know but no of course not and I should have known because uh, the world runs on money dude and nobody gives up that China money nobody gives up China money I mean they got control of our basketball I mean China has some pretty stupid influence here in America I don't understand why all right so is it pikes also let's see pike pike what are you doing this morning Yoon? what do you got going on I do need giant pikes. Ah, crap. Well, I might as well turn XP off again. The Chinese company and Blizzard couldn't agree on a continuation of the contract. Yep. Activision Blizzard is or will soon be owned by Microsoft. That's right, I heard about that. For like billions of dollars or some shit. And you just got up drinking some coffee. Everyone's still sleeping. Everyone? You have family come stay or the grandkid or something like that? And if that's the case, you let them fucking grandkids sleep as much as they can. I love my grandma, but she was like that. And she was grandma. She was older. She loved kids for about an hour or two. Then it was like, give them back. So whenever I'd stay the night at grandma's, she'd let me get away with murder. I mean, as far as that goes. Oh, no, grandson. You sleep in as much as you want this morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it meant less time that I was running around the house and shit. So my mom would show up to pick me up. And grandma would be like, yeah, you just slept all afternoon. And she'd be like, grandma, I don't want him doing that. Because then he's up for me. And then, my, my, you know, grandma's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. All sinful. Do you see my new Etsy shop right there? You know what? I need to I need to rephrase that. Let me change that real quick. Let's see. Cloudbot. Timers. Alright, so then let me add another one. Add a timer. We got a house full. You got a goddamn house full. There you go, yeah. Good, I'm glad you checked it out. I'm gonna put some more stuff up there too. 
but in case anybody doesn't have time to watch my stream and they want to just buy one, they can just buy one. Because I had a member of the staff send me a message and they're like, yo, things are kind of cool. I'd like to get one, but I ain't got time to watch your fucking stream, dude. So, I was like, well, yeah, I'll sell you one a couple bucks. Five more, five. Underwater is weird. It's, it's hard to understand where you're at. It takes a little bit to get used to it. It's not complicated, but you gotta layer them. So, like, what were you talking about? Like, what sticker would you want colors on? I mean, it's can be complicated, but it's extra work and stuff. It's Let's see, six. Yeah, I learned how to do uh, the realm one, the, the knot, the, the the triple knot. Is that what you're talking about? The one with Hibernia, Mid, and then uh, Alb? Is that the one you're talking about? The single realm. Oh, you mean like the hammer and the, the tree? See, what you would do is you would make, like, let's say they want a Hibernia tree. Okay, let's say the hammer. What I would do is I would make the exact same hammer, make it 20% larger out of white. Stick the white one down. Then you make the blue one and make sure it's 20% or 30% smaller, and then either stick it right on it in the middle which would create like an outline and give it that two-tone color or if you want to get sneaky you place it a little bit down into the right or down into the left and it creates a shadowing kind of effect yeah I mean I, I, I really know how to work with vinyl because my dad you know had a small company small business and that's what he you know, f you know foam vinyl all that kind of stuff so I learned how uh, to do a lot of that vinyl stuff but it does make it you know, more custom, and then the price goes up. That's why, like, the price is what they are. Some people are like, $6, $7 for a sticker, what the fuck? Well, it cost me a couple bucks of material, but what, what it really is, is some of those stickers, like the hammer, the tree, and the cup, easy, dude. I can just take my blade and just peel the backing off, and everything's fine. But, like, the Eden sticker... That sticker's a pain in the ass. That one takes me like 20 minutes of sitting down and weeding out all the background and shit. So that's that's kind of why I, I make that one a little more expensive. And it's more material, but that's why that one's more expensive, dude. I mean, it's not like I just hit a button and, and it just cuts it out and I can just hand it to you and be like, here you go. I mean, you, you got to remove the backing that you don't want and then put the tape on top. I mean, it, it's, it's a little bit of a uh, time investment. Yeah. Pain in the ass. One more pike. Ugly ass fish. Alright, let's do some XP on. Oh, oh, let's do that. And that. Pike it up. Later on today, Yoon, I haven't, mm, I messed with it once a long time ago. I need to find out where I can host for streaming. So if I'm offline and you go online, it'll let my motherfucker people know that, yo, homegirl streaming, you know, like, let's friends, uh, followers know. Because 
Because if I'm ever not streaming... That sucked. That is not at all what I wanted to do. But it's alright. I was going to try to turn in these two quests while I was at the level below, which would have given me considerably more EXP. Soul Toxin, dude. Sometimes we have a little bit of lag on your stream. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's gotta, you know, be Twitch or something. Or my internet. I mean, you know, I got pretty good internet, but it ain't worth it. Alright. Alright, so Soul Toxin. Pop that there. Then we got Taipan. Yeah, I have, that's what I'm saying. I have to sit down and go through the option to you, and I don't remember exactly where it's at. It's kind of funny. Like, I know the basics of how to use Streamlabs. The basics. There's so many other cool things you can do with it, and that's what I'm trying to learn. That's why I bought the green screen, dude, so I can start doing some chroma stuff in the background and making cool effects and just make it more interesting for people to watch, dude. I think I'm uh, going to actually, like, do a little bit of role play. You know what I'm saying? I'll buy, you know, a little... I'll, I'll do a little bit of costumes. No makeup and shit like that, but I'll, wear, I'll fucking get a crown and, and some other shit just to hang out and play and make it a little fun. Alright, let's run over here. Oh, yeah, Taipan. Taipan. Uh, to the side of the... Follow-ups is Cobra. Cobra. That's... What does the follow-up do for me? Constrictor. Oh, man, that's going to be cool. Anaconda. Okay, that's fucking cool. Cobra. Oh, oh shit. Alright. So, like, right now, my side attack? 45 spirit damage. And the attacker is healed for 60% of that damage. That's a good ability. I mean, that's that's a good ability. No, not a jester's cap. If, if I'm going to sit down and be something, I'm going to be King Arthur, baby. I ain't going to be no fucking jester. At least not on my own stream. You know what I'm saying? When, if, you're, if you're hosting something of your own, you're the king, baby. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who's like, I'm going to run a stream and I'm going to be a jester. <laughs> it's like starting your own business and being like, I'm going to be the fucking bathroom cleaner. <laughs> no. So, the new Cobra, at 44, I get that new side attack. 130 spirit damage, and the attacker is healed for 100% of the damage. So, right now, I'm only getting 60% back as a heal for the damage. Once I get that, damn, that's going to be 100% of the damage dealt. That's going to be nice. That is the money style. Yes, sir. Yeah. Really? You think use that over the back style? I was seriously debating whether or not to go 50 flex. Yeah, good morning, bud. Man, that boom slam, I mean, that fucking looks gnarly, though, that Leviathan. But that's a lot of points. 50 in the flex? That's a lot of points. So I gotta wait till 44 so I can get the other follow-up to the, to the other side attack because there's no point in me using it right now. Is only one. That's right. Oh, I see. Oh, you know what? Then I, I'm just gonna go 44, and I'll have those other points to to keep my uh, soul rending high, and parry. Fuck it. Now I see why people were complaining. Okay, what else do I need down here? Claim the reward. Bloggins. Reward freshwater crabs and long snout, huh? Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, I'm right on top of the motherfucker. I used to dance under that name for a while when I used to strip. That's right. 
I danced under a lot of names. Welcome to the stage, Long Snout. That's right. Ah, oh, you fucker. Wizzy is 26. Oh yeah, I, I passed him up. There we go, come on. Viper! Copperhead! Oh shit, a little bit of indigo! Oh! To show you the real power, uh, my buddy, Simple, yeah, Synthal has a fire whizzy. As long as nobody is fucking with you, dude, you can just blow shit up. Right, let's hold on here. Let's, let's bust out the water mount. And there we go. What's the uh, what's the temperature like where you're at, idiotic? Is it, is that a chilly ass day today or what? Next week it warms. Up. I I took a ride on my motorcycle yesterday. It was 42 degrees and I took a ride on my motorcycle yesterday. I put on every bit of cold weather gear I had and it just it wasn't even fun. It just wasn't even fun. Uni's the one with the fire whizzy. Oh okay. I knew one of you came to help me the other day and you were just fucking dumping, man. I rode my bike around, went for a trip. It just wasn't even fun. What's your fire whizzy's name? <gasps> oh, fuck that nonsense, man. Over a foot of snow overnight. Clearing the driveway and the neighbors. Damn it. I do the same thing. I live next door to an older lady and... Whenever it snows, I'm like, fuck. You know, I'm 45, and shoveling snows work, man. So it's, and I'm a little dude, so it's not like I can get out there and muscle it. It's tough. He's got to live somewhere near you, Uni, with with that kind of cold ass weather. He's got to. That fucking snowblower. You live somewhere where it's like Uni. Uh, Uni lives someplace where snow is is just on the menu. Yeah, fuck yeah, Uni. Yeah. You hoser. I remember being eight or nine, and you know my dad was a partier, dude. He was definitely a cool motherfucker. I mean, um. So I remember hanging out, and he, him and a bunch of his buddies came over, and they're hanging out, and they're watching a movie, and fucking all I kept hearing was, what's up, eh? Yeah, you hoser. And I come in, I'm like, Dad, what are you watching? He's like, Strange Brew, sit down and watch it with me. I'm like, uh, okay. I was too young. <laughs> you know, I didn't understand half of what was going on. Yeah, I didn't understand half of what was going on. But then I watched it again when I was like 15 or 16 with, yeah, I was like, that's a funny-ass fucking Rick Moranis or whatever, and a great movie. Oh shit! Ah crap! No, oh, too busy running my mouth. Yeah, great movie, man. That's a good movie. <laughs> Fucking dog. Uh, whole movie about getting drunk. Did you see the patch notes? Did you guys see the patch notes? Ah fuck! How do you bring up the patch notes? All right, well we'll just do it this way. You did not. All right. Let's talk about it because that's exactly what the stream's for. So let me get there. Let me get there. Alrighty, so we got some. They have done a major rework to the pathing. This should alleviate issues where mobs, pets would walk through walls. Now they've done a major rework, so they still anticipate shit might be wrong, which of course, you know. So if you see any bugs, if you're doing keep takes, anything weird fucking happens, I know it's a pain in the dick, dude, to stop what you're doing and make a bug report. But we're all tired of getting chased through keeps with fucking mobs. 
So I thought that was an awesome change because before the game goes live, that needs to be fixed. We cannot be having keep takes where mobs and, and pets are just running. You know, you can't do that. can't do that. That's bullshit. Susie. Oh, that was teeny weeny. Uh, merchants have arrived to Darkness Falls. These merchants offer their wares in exchange for blood seals. Somebody said that the stuff they have right now is absolute dog shit and not even worth it. Uh, so we'll see if they improve it. Midgard Classic Savartals and the Dragon Zone Savartals are now two separate factions. This is like live like uh, in the Dragon Campaign. Okay, that's great if that's the way it's supposed to be. Many monsters have been given the evade ability. I was talking about that when I was going through the patch notes at the start. You know, like Dark Age of Camelot, one of the reasons why it feels old is because mobs don't do anything special. I can count on one hand how many mobs in the game actually do something. A Madian touched, the Amadin touched. Uh, they fucking grab you and then what happens? get diseased man yeah that sucks but it makes you fucking think and it makes you try to you know work something better the Ellie's the alleles or whatever that are out in in, in uh, Alb they they cast fucking bolts at you I think that's cool Synthal if you're curious about Sobic here alright so we will come down to videos and we will come up here. There. There's a video of them doing Sobakite Dungeon in, what, Mid or Alb or something like that. Or Hib. So, I was told that it's the same mechanics. So, if you want to see how it works, there it is. Alright, so uh, let me get back here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Patch notes. Um, so yeah, so many monsters have been given the uh, ability to evade. That is going to be so fucking rad. You want to bring this game and make it feel like a newer game? Just give the mobs the ability to do anything. I mean, how many mobs in this game do you shoot with an arrow, pull it, and just... Uh, uh, and then you just... Uh, and then it's dead, and then you move on to the next one. That shit fucking sucks. It's not fun. You know, at least give the mob an ability to evade. Uh, yesterday I was fighting that goddamn knight, that NPC knight. He blocked my attack. I was like, ha! And then he shield slammed me, dude, or used mangle or whatever. Stunned me for three seconds. He killed me. I think that was the coolest fucking shit I've ever seen. I, I love it. No, that's, that's good. That's good. They need more, like evades and, and special abilities, you know? If it's a casting class, like, you'll go up to something that's obviously a caster mob. And you'll pull it, and it runs up to you, and then starts smacking you with its fucking, you know, staff. Don't do that. <laughs> Try to stay back and at least cast first, and then if I keep planking you, then move them in. You know what I'm saying? Make the game just feel a little bit more, you know, up to date. That, that's something that shouldn't be tarot. Added abilities to many monsters in Avalon City. Love it. More abilities. Added missing, missing monsters to Trollheim. Various fixes to the Sobakite instance. And fixed a bug allowing players to release into the battlegrounds that they were not eligible for. So that's cool. So that was a, a great patch level for today. Also... It's not exactly insider information, but Eden has a new logo. Eden server has a new logo. I do not know what it is yet, but I was told that I'll get a copy of it for stickers and shirts because I reached out and was like, yo, you know, I want to not get in trouble if a year from now you know what I'm saying so we'd buy chatter with somebody and so as soon as I can show it to you I will
Yeah, I'm gonna get some some major green screen action going on. Like up here, up here will be like the realm map. You know, I'll put the realm map like right along down here, and all the different keeps and shit. Having mobs do more than just attack would be cool. Yep, new logo ink. I'm excited about that too. I want to see what the new the new E logo looks like. Yeah, I really want mobs to just do something something. All right, three more, folks. Three more, and then it's some 420 action. Three more, and then it's time to do a little puff, puff, give. Moss. Dos Moss. Not one of the benefits of growing up in a Hispanic household. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, once, trece, catorce. Yeah, well, speak a bit of Spanish. <laughs> my stepdad was Hispanic, so. Bet you'll never guess what my favorite food is. <laughs> Mexican food. I absolutely fucking love Mexican food, dude. Love it. Beans, tortillas, fucking all that. Guacamole. But I was also raised in Southern California, raised in California too, in a in a Hispanic family. So, well, it, just to clarify, my stepdad is Hispanic. You know, so when you know you marry, you kind of do what the new father wants to do, I guess. Sure. Texas? Hell yeah, Texas has got some fucking bomb Tex Mex. Okay, this is gonna sound like a little racial, but I don't mean it to be. Here in Virginia, there are some pretty shitty Mexican food places out here. Hispanic food. And it's funny because you're like you'll walk in and and it's just because who you got working there. Hi! Well, you know, welcome to La Coretta's. Can I get you a taco? I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you a burrito. You know, you got some. You know, some white guy back there <laughs> cooking up your fucking. Not very authentic, dude. But there's two restaurants in the area where they don't even speak English back there, and their food is fucking authentic, dude. You can straight. To, that, that's Hispanic food. What the fuck am I doing? You guys are letting me run around. I got a goddamn horse, and you got. You know, y'all torturing me. I thought we were friends, dude. Alright. Got a couple quests to turn in, then we'll go finish those other ones. <gasps> Is there nowhere to turn... Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not, but just in case there's some kind of faction... I thought there was some place to turn this in. Shit! Uh, in case there's some kind of faction, I don't want to... The fuck, Sir Dillis? I mean, I told you, I told you I'd pay you back, dude. Alright? God damn, man. Fuck you, I ain't giving you back your 20 bucks. You just got burned. I want to make sure you didn't come back after you heard me. Alrighty. 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 Take them, take them, take them. Okay. Got the next, next two. <laughs> 
he's 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 mad because I didn't uh uh the the couch dances right. All right, so let's see. This morning, I've got a little nug of some California Dream. This is something I grew, and it's a sativa. So this is supposed to kind of pick you up a little bit, not get you so fucking sleepy when you smoke it and stuff. You know, mellow you out a bit, but just not get you all super tired. So it's a great for a morning kind of weed. Take a little pinch of that. Throw that. I gotta clean my pipe today. It's so fucking gross, man. I can barely even draw through it. It's so clogged. Alright. Look over there for a minute. Oh. Tastes like berries, but I can't can't put my finger on what kind of berry. It tastes like berries though. Fucking good. Alright. So it looks like we're going to North Town. North Daniel. Yeah, I bet you I can't do the the blogging one anymore because they were green when I was up there the first fucking time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. There we go. Dead monkeys? Ah, uh, that's my huckleberry. Come on, get that shield arm up. There we go. That's right, a little copperhead. Fucking A and smack him with some indigo? Get down. Alright. Love the quest system on Eden 2, yes. Yep, you're absolutely right, Synthol. I love the questing. Gives you a little bit of direction, you know, to hold your hand a little bit. Here, go kill these guys. I mean, I'm not a fan of the way it used to be where, you know, you ran to a camp and then you just fucking sat. And just pulled and pulled and pulled. That sucks. Cool. Two down. There we go. So that's my new my new advertisement for my Etsy shop. So I got all kinds of vinyl stuff and there's a way to contact me too so you can send me a message and be like, "Hey, I'm looking for something custom. Can you make this?" Cuz you know, stickers and shit, they're pretty cheap to mail, so I can make you stuff and mail it to you. Mm, let's do it. Yes. Yes. God, it feels so terrible when it doesn't land. Oh, because I pressed the wrong button, that's why. Let's try it again. Five. Six. Oh, shit. Wait. There we go. Seven. Oh. Yep, he'd already been stunned once, so his immunity timer was... was or it's a duration timer was reduced. 
That was unfortunate. What have I been getting here? Let's just hang out for a second and see. Alright. No thank you. Uh oh. Even better. Even better. That was that was great. Ugh. Yeah, it's faster too. Point two faster. So three point five is 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 right about where I want to be. Because it gives my old ass enough time to. Yeah. There we go. So I can reliably do my after. Without having to cancel. I guess I could start preloading like 5 1. That was a perfect example. You hit 5 1, I preload the fucking block first, and then if I didn't block, then I would have naturally have done the, the Python. Preloading is helpful in certain situations, and especially when you have slow ass fucking weapons. So we'll do it again. 5 1. There you go. 5 1. Now I'm just waiting for a block. There it is. It's automatically hit the 5. That's it. And then I hit 6. Roll over here for the 7. Done deal. Yeah, I get lazy though. Or I'll style cancel. You know, I'll press 1. And then I'll block, and then I'll one again to cancel it, and then five, but that is extra work. But the only benefit of doing that is I'm ready in case I parry or block. If I do the preload, you know, block, regular attack, block, then I, I'm only set up for the block. And if I parry, I can't do nothing about it. I don't get the benefits of it. See, parry, there you go. Boom. Hey, it's hello. What's up, guys? Sent on my buddy. Yeah, we've had one or two. They're pretty good about the dots. But we've had one or two where we walked up and looked around, and I was like, uh, no dots. Where do I go? I mean, and then you wander around, and you just happen to find some. Um, I've had one or two. Which isn't bad. I mean, cons considering. These guys have done a pretty damn good job on their server, man. It's, uh, it's got its issues, but it's, it's pretty fun here, man. I'm having a good fucking time. Having a good time. People are talking about like Phoenix. Fuck Phoenix, dude. I was a GM on Phoenix. The staff are rough, and I don't like the way they left. You know. And then, then all of a sudden, a year later, they're like, Ah, I guess we'll go ahead and reopen it. Who wants to come on back? No way, dude. The last time you guys said you were just tired of doing it, and you shut it down, and all that time that I played. No way. You didn't even, like, hand it off to somebody else to keep it going. You, you, you shut it down. You took your marbles and went home. Said you guys were done, and then, like, a year later, you're like, Oh, okay, I guess we'll try again. Hell no, Phoenix. Fool me once. And I like that. <clears throat> I like how some of the epic stuff don't have dots. Go out figure it out.
seven. Maybe. Amaday. What's up, girl? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was pretty terrible how Phoenix did it. I mean, it's okay if you guys, you know, invested way too much time and you're just burned out on doing it. Hand it over to Dave. We're going to let Dave run it on his computer at home just so you guys can keep playing. But there's not going to be any more production or, or, you know, fixing of anything. Just enjoy the server. Thanks. Bye. But no, they were like, yo, we're tired of doing it, and we're going to take our marbles and go home. What a fuck you to the player base that was. And they're supposed to be like, you know, we're doing this all because we love you guys. I thought that was the weirdest thing, the way they're like, shutting it down, taking it. Mm. Mm. Phoenix, we will delete your characters after nine months. Yeah, right, I recently left their Discord too. Not my, yep, not the way I want to play Dark Age. Nope. Nope. Eden's the new home. You sons of bitches. I think I need one more. One or two more. And absolutely good morning, everybody. I'm glad you're here. We're going to have some uh, serious upgrades to the stream tomorrow. So when you guys come and hang out tomorrow, there's going to be a lot of cool fucking graphical shit going on. Uh... And you guys can help me decide what's beneficial and what's not. Camera angle's probably going to be a little different. We're going to try to make it a little, a little bit nicer, a little bit more clean. Alright, one more. You cannot hide from me, sir. Doing a pretty good job, actually. Nah, fuck it. I'll take this one. Yeah, no, they'll stay in the background. I'm just talking, like, back here. Oh, that's right. You can see Piggy over there. Little Piggy. Got some kitties in front of the fireplace right now, I'll tell you that. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so I guess let's just continue heading on to the other ones over here. Try to finish this zone out, and then I can go back to where I was before. Cornwall and all that, and they should have plenty of quests out there for me. But I've learned my lesson. Try to do them all if you can. Don't leave these to go do other ones. You, you want as many goddamn quests as you can get done. <laughs> Down the road. What an abomination of nature. Look at that thing. It's got like the head of a fucking beaver. Head of, head of like a... No, I ain't talking shit. No, no, you're, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Alright, now that I'm a little bit further away, that fucking guy's got a face only a mother could love. Oof. He didn't hear me, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kitty cam! And just, yeah. I, 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 could, I could do that. Yeah, some people like to see the animals around. I've definitely got one or two of them around here.
Okay. So I haven't out leveled these guys yet. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I go AFK for a minute to grab something to eat or something, switch the camera over there to a kitty. I know right where to put it to, right above the little kitty bed back here. That's fucking funny. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting with the, uh, the green screen when it shows up today. We're going to do a poll on how long it takes before the cats shred the shit out of it. It actually won't be bad. Uh, the first week, you'll be hearing me, stop that, stop that, you know, don't do that kind of stuff until I train them to leave it alone. Uh, but they'll eventually leave it alone. But the first week is going to be... Fuck, which one's Braemar? Braemar is... If that's the... Uh, I think way off to the left. Uni. That is terrible, but I love it. Uh, that's that's terrible. That's Randy. Huh. Well, I'm over here eating. Why don't you look at my pussy for a minute? I mean, seriously. Oh, my God. You put that... You, you put that on, like, the... Uh, the description screen... You know how many dudes are going to jump in and then realize what it is and... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, there's a pussy. I'll oh, check it out. And they jump in and see a bunch of cats. They're going to be like Rick rolling motherfuckers. Put a little Rick Roll guy up there. Dun, dun. That's terrible. That's terrible. Come look at my stream. I got tons of pussy. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, you know, yeah. Of course I do it because I enjoy hanging out with people and bullshitting, but I am not gonna lie. If some, like, rich dude from Dubai jumped in and just threw me a million dollars, I'd take it. Give me one second real quick. I'm gonna go check on kids. Yeah, I forgot. There's actually a way I can show you this. Check this out. You're going to like this. Give me one second here. I'm going to actually have to log out of the game for a moment. Give me a second. You guys will like this.
go. That's one side of the enclosure. I got cameras on each side. So the cats come out my window and then they cruise down that little uh, you know the little ramp and they've got an enclosure here. There you go. So that's the other side of the enclosure. So they can go outside and it's roof, you know, I, I, I made it with a roof and they can enjoy being outside in the wild but not get out or get away and lose my cats. Um, it was a lot of money. <laughs> but it was kind of the coolest thing. It's it's really cool. If you like animals. It, it just so happens, I mean, I love all animals. I'm not a crazy cat person. I'm not trying to play Pokemon and catch them all, dude. As a cable guy, I would just run across people who didn't take care of cats and animals and ask for them. Hey, man, if you're not going to take care of that kitten, I'll take it. You know, and then I try to find a home for it, and then I can't. Uh, and then they end up being mine. Um, so, like, we live a little bit outside of town, so uh, here, I'll just go through for a minute. Yeah, so that's the other side of the enclosure. This is right by the window, so that's the enclosure looking down another angle, you know, the flower beds and stuff. Where are we at? Okay, here's out in front of my house on our front porch. Yeah, old school front porch swing, but these are little heated pads, and, you know, during the winter time, we set it up to where the little babies can lay on these little heated pads because it's like 38 degrees outside? Cold as shit. So we set up a little wind blocker with a tarp here. So right in here, they got a nice little area. Why? No, 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 no. Don't go back that way. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. There's my backyard. My motorcycle, backyard. I'm squirrel climbing up a tree right now in my backyard. Get it, buddy, get it. All right, let's see what else. Nope. That's it. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's the kitty enclosure that I got. So I guess I could put a little kitty, little kitty uh, cam out there, dude, and let people just watch in the corner what the fucking cats are doing. Do some cool stuff. Yeah, I need to live further outside of town. Because so far they haven't said nothing about the outdoor animals, the cats. So like all the outside cats we have, we're doing these fucking people a favor, man. We capture these cats or befriend them. Then we take them to a place called Angels of Assisi. We spend our fucking money to get them fixed at a discount. So we only spend like $25 a cat. But that's still 25 bucks a cat. That's not even ours. But then we get them fixed and just let them loose back out in the yard. I mean, I don't care if you cats hang out. I don't care if any animal hangs out. But you're not going to just keep having fucking babies, man. No more babies. Good God. Right, so that's four. Let's do some DD. These guys are so low. I'm just trying to shred through them. Oh, abs yeah, absolutely love. You know that sense. Oh, love me some Driss. Absolutely love it. Driss, though, he's my fucking hero. Alright, let's see what else do we got. Oh, is that all of them for now? Oh, nope. There's my Huckleberry. Yeah, we were trying to figure out a way to allow the animals to go outside and enjoy being a part of the world and nature. You know, it, dogs you can let outside to run around a little bit. Poor cats. At one point in time in history, cats were like revert as gods and allowed to do all kinds of stuff. And then like a couple thousand years later, we're like, yo, we're going to shove you in this little house and you got to shit in that little box. Well, that's pretty terrible. <laughs> Spiny eels. Reward. Okay, five more of the wagon guys. Let's see if there's any more somewhere. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Man, people still trying to... Dark Age of Camelot players are just a diehard fucking crew. Because I can see somebody asking right now, Yo, looking to trade 50 plats here on ALB for 50 plats over on mid. You know, even, even 10 days before the server resets or whatever. Still fucking playing. I'm still leveling. Stupid. I'll be level 50 the day before I-50 comes out. I believe that. So, of course, you love the cats, huh? Because I will tell you what. We don't have a fucking rodent problem here in, in my property, man. I certainly do not have a rodent problem here. I heard somebody plays it on a Steam Deck. And it works pretty damn good. He said it works fine. He's able to play it. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, if you're in a situation where you can afford it, and you're just, you know, you find yourself away from your PC, but with a little free time, Steam Deck may be the way to... You need internet access, though, right? Yeah, you gotta have internet access. Just about everywhere has internet now, though. Fuck. Oh, you got cracked. Oh, I'm telling. Okay, seven out of ten. Three more. Yeah, I'm waiting for UPS to show up with that stuff. Get the green screen set up. I know how to set it up as far as, you know, get it uh, behind me and stuff. And I have a basic idea on how it works, but I had to look it up last night on how to set it up in Streamlabs. Something with Chromacast and shit, it's... It's gonna be a little weird. For the Steam Deck thing? I am a day? That is too cool. That's cool that the guy did that. I need to check in there too because I think there was a... Uh, I downloaded the reshade. Uh, but, you know, I need someone to help me out. <laughs> it would be even better if somebody just said, Here, this is the, the file that makes it look awesome. So I bet you that's in there too. A lot of good stuff in that wiki. Oh, Viper. Oh, Copperhead. Uh-oh. Oh, no Indigo? Oh, and that's all she wrote. I mean, but they're green, so... I'm out here flexing on greens. <laughs> that's right, bitch! <laughs> Fucking get wrecked! There we go, okay, yeah. Yes, I will... In fact, when, uh, when I'm done streaming, I will look it up and set it up. Oh, was that it? Or did I need one more? I think one more. Ah, oh, two more. Yes. I swear I know how to count. I mean, I promise I know how to count. Get up. Ronder. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. Another person. I'll look up both. Uh, Haze Fest and Pronder. Somebody's got a... I know somebody just did a, a guide. And then somebody else said that, you know... You need the guide if you have troubles setting it up. But he was like, I just made the file. So all you gotta do is install the reshade, drop this file in there, and it sets up all the options for you. The way I have them set up. Um, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> he uni that picture is great. That is great.
<laughs> Uni sent me this bit baked multiple times per day. Yeah, fucking same, bro. <laughs> I'm baked multiple times per day, too. Too cool. <laughs> ah, fucking beauty. That was good looking out. That was good stuff. There you go. Prander did it for you. Yeah, so he did all the hard stuff, and you just fucking enjoyed the... Reap the rewards, right? Does it look better, though? Everybody tells me it looks better. So I just need to bite the bullet if I can do it. Damn, right on, man. Oh shit! <laughs> I have to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Links, I gotta be careful of. Because people can post inappropriate links and then, uh. But. Hold on a second. Oh, that's pretty terrible. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's see this. We're going to... Okay. Repost it again, sir. Do what you just did, but do it again. There was no link in there. Okay. Because, yeah, I have it set to block links, but, I mean, if you didn't even post a fucking link, then what's to do? But I have made you a moderator for the channel. So you should be able to do whatever you want. There it is. Okay, see, the, yeah, those are the links. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. You got a cool sword by your name now, Synthal. You must defend the channel with your honor and your life. This is so gnarly. Surge of maiming. I mean, it just adds such a, a nice little tasty bit of a damage add. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's not looking good for the kid. He's got him against the ropes. A little after parry. Oh, oh, and he flubs it. And another block. Will he get the Viper? Oh, and he didn't. It still looks like it's going to be a blowout, ladies and gentlemen. E4 didn't stand a chance. Bitchin'. Yeah, I will. Yep, when I'm done streaming, I'll, I'll go ahead and just click those and set it up. Here we go. Okay, so those eels, and then what? Eels, and then what? Eels. Spiny eels. Return, return. Ah, name. Okay, spiny eels, and then the name. Oh, 
haze fest. It sounds like that guy is fucking awesome. I never met him. But anybody that does anything for Dark Age of Camelot in a positive way is fucking cool in my book. Are these things squealing like dolphins? I love how you when you when you sit underwater. It's like you've given up. I give up. I give up. Just let the let the ocean take me. I don't care anymore. <laughs> he's just like he's like I'm just done. I don't even care. What's next? No, not the pikes. I need them fucking eagles. Here's a red dot where there's one eel. Enjoy. You s trolling sons of bitches. Uh, hi, Moochie. Che, che, che. Moochie, che. Let's see what now. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Fucking crabs. Mr. Crab. Spiny eels. There's got to be more eels someplace else. And I won't be able to tell unless I'm underwater too. Fuck. Well, we're going to go northeast. Here we go. Stick Boy was just killed by the legendary Afink. Yeah, that'll happen. That was a comfy float. Oh, the dot not being kind of... A mysterious horse. What makes him mysterious? Like, is he over there acting weird? Or, like, did he just, like, just show up one day and just start hanging out? I think it's in Hib or something. There's a mob, like by TNN, called a suspicious rat. Fiber! Copperhead! Oh shit, and a ghost type. Nice. Oh, with a parry? Nice! Yes. yes. Shit. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, Amade, that's great. Yeah, you guys' videos are fucking awesome. You guys' videos are definitely awesome. Everything, everything that this t team has done has just been awesome. I, I can't. Oh my god, those eels. 
I don't want to kill the eels. Such a pain in the ass. There's nothing on the... Well, there wasn't yesterday. I guess I can go back and check today. There was nothing on the market, man. Wait. I'm 30 now, so I can go get... Okay, let me go kill these eels, and then I'll grab some buffs. Yeah, before, there was nothing under level 30, and then only level 30s were just a couple. I mean, you can just tell people, you know, aren't... Beta's almost done, so they're not investing all that time and energy anymore. You guys are just going to make me swim across the water, aren't you? Let's, let's see. Okay, so the spiny eel is neutral. Let us find out right now. So I'm going to hang out right fucking here. I, I'm probably going to die if, if this gets aggro because I can't take two oranges. So, come here, buddy. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's not looking good. Is it? You know what? Just fuck it. You'll never take me alive. Everything. Just do it all. Just do it all. <laughs> just, just click everything I got. No, that was a damn good test, man. Cause I need to know that. I mean, I, I, I'd hated to have done that in a situation where. I was in a group with people, or, you know, I mean, that, that's what it's about. I need to know the class. I need to learn little things like that. I played a Reaver before, many years ago, and I didn't remember if it if it did that or not. So I'm glad we checked that. So i got to remember, it does do a little, a little AoE, and it will aggro. Which I should have known, because it comes with... Decreases the target's strength by 30. That's got to be, you know, an aggressive, uh, you know... A, you can't debuff somebody and have them be like, eh, no biggie. <laughs> eh, it's cool. Oh, you mean the crafting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we know how easy it is, I should have done it way before. Horses this way. Yeah, crafting when release happens is going to do all that crafting. Let's see, Avalon Marsh, was that Adjabards? Yeah. Adjabards retreat. Let's see if we got any new gear. Uh oh. We got another weapon. This time the speed is 3.3. .3. That's 3.5. I think 3.3 .3 is perfect, but I'll keep the other one just in case, in case it's a little too fast. Let's see, 60, 60, 50, 60, okay. 60, 60. Oh, jeez, great. Yeah, we'll take that. No, 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 where the hell am I going? I'm smoking crack, dude. I'm still getting used to Al. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Music is creepy, dude. Right? 
It's all fine except for that part in the back. That, that, that weird sound makes it just a little. Snope. And then we're going south. Play me a little ditty there, buddy. Beautiful. Come over here. Lynn Barfog. Go. Was there a... I didn't even see. Was there a wasp for Lynn Barfog? Could I have taken the wasp? Let me grab something to drink. I got some cotton mouth. Tell me if my horse talks to strangers. I love my wood. That was one of the first things that, when we got the wood burning stove, your attitude shifts. And this is what I'm trying to say. Before, when you're cruising around, like driving around, and you know, you're know you just driving, you're waiting at a stoplight, and you're just looking around, you know. Now, I'll be chilling, and I'll look over, and I'll like see somebody's house. And I'll have like a big old row stack of wood in front of their house. I get all like... I mean, you know, wood is money. Wood is heat, warmth. So it's like, oh, man, look at that fucking wood, man. Oh, that's some good-looking wood over there. Get all like, yeah, that's some good-looking wood. You got it stacked all nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get creepy with it. Saw some dude taking the tarp off his wood, and the wood was all stacked. I was like, oh, slow it down, baby. Don't take that tarp off too fast. Make it last all night. Yeah, yeah, come on. It was, the wife was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, look at all that wood. Yep, your attitude changes, dude, when you start burning with wood. Yay! Alright, 31. Fucking moving along. There's three more bubs. One more bub. So let's train that up. So we're what? Level 31. 
go dirty, train, shield, train. Oh, you said 28? All right. Some soul rending train. So I've got four points left. All right. Perry is going to come in the 40s, you know, when you get the bonus points. And thank you, Synthel. Moving my way along. 31. So do I really want to go all the way back over here? For the fucking eels. Alright. I'm getting trolled by the eels. can't even say eels. It's like eel. Water pots up? We don't. Fuck it, I'm gonna let him drown. Let him drown. I was just kidding, don't drown. Okay, so. Eels, 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 eels. I'm looking for a couple eels. Boo, boo, boo. Ba, 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 ba. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you slimy little eels. You sneaky, slimy little eels. Oh. Deep Lake Adder. You know what? Just cuz. Let's, let's see. I love it that I evade. I love it that I get evade one. Alright. Didn't count. Okay. So. My kingdom for some eels. I'm just going to make one little trip around and then I'm going to go, man. I can't spend, you know, an hour and a half hunting down eels. There's one. Shh. If you look off in the distance, you can see the ever-elusive spiny eel. Crikey, he's got a mate. Fuck, two on the screen at the same time? Unbelievable. If you're quiet, you can hear the mating call of the spiny eel. He's trying to get fresh with me. Where's that block? Where's that block? That motherfucker's tough. Come on, baby. Two seconds. And then I get the block at the very end. Fuck off. Oops. 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 Shit. I'm all confused now. Hold on. Canceled. Canceled. That's when a reaver will get you in trouble. You're down in a dungeon. And he's like, he, you know, thinks he's turning it off, but he hits another one. And all the ads come in and I eat you up. Uh oh, hold on.
Claire was coming in. Pale's power took not more faced watchtower. Last time I had my extra little damage ad. Oh man, I'm trying. Believe me, I don't want to be doing any more PvE. I've leveled a couple tunes already. I'm, I'm I want to go out there and reaver bomb some motherfuckers. <laughs> they started off with like the nightshade and the infiltrators and stuff. Those tunes require good full templates because you're always constantly fighting people with full templates. So when I started playing and you know, I was, you know, kind of half assing it, I should have known I was just going to get rickrolled by everybody. Because I wasn't committing like everybody else was running templates and full buff pots and everything. Not me, man. I was just going out stabbing people. Because I didn't think anybody else was getting that, that hardcore nerdy. But yeah. People, there's people who went full on fucking, you know, activate super sweaty neck beard. I mean, they played this fucking game like it was released, and, and that's. Uh, I guess I should have done that from the start, because then it wouldn't have been so bad. But after a couple weeks, I'm like, ooh, I don't want to do it now because you know, yeah, tough, tough situation. So just hang out and play, try to have fun for another week and a half, two weeks. I can't grow a beard. I tried last year. I'll try again this year. I went through the whole winter, dude, and I just... I just can't get it to get full. I get little patchy spots, and I'm 45, so by now I should be able to start growing something, but... Whatever. Oh, shit. Okay. So when if you play Alb and the game goes live release and they don't mess with it, I found a nice bit of eels over here by the blogging camp. So so the dot says here, there's one there. <laughs> but over here there's a lot. Shield slam is going to be nice. I mean, you know, PvE is going to be nice because shield slam is, you know, setting you up for life tap. So you can, oh shit, shield slam life taps, you know, on demand. Uh, and same with RVR to a point. Ooh. Maybe I should have got a little more health back before I pulled these. Yeah, I think I should have waited.
more eels. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 nice. And those two, yeah, yeah, another eel over there. Yeah, there's way more eels over here. Like, I've seen in, like, some other games when, instead of one little tiny red dot, they should just put the whole red dot in the water. The eels are in here, you know, but I don't know if they can do that and make, like, a semi-transparent dot. Uh, 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 Guild Wars 2 is like that, you know, it'll give you the dot somewhere in this area kind of thing. Mastery of blocking. Block is all about that bread and butter. Oh, like that. Three more. Oh, fucking Mastery of Pain. Melee crit. You know what they do get? Let's see, where is it? Dual Threat. Grants a bonus chance to critical hit on both melee and magic based, cha uh, based attacks. But each point is 5, 10, 15, 20, 15. And then it's 7, shit. Which, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. A 20% bonus chance to. You know, uh, you know, melee and magic. That's pretty cool. It's expensive as fuck, yeah. But mastery of pain is just one point, three points, five points, kind of thing. Absolutely worth it, and then do some. Uh, Mastery of Pain just for the melee crit and get that up to 15 20 percent. But critting on a life tap would be pretty cool. <laughs> crit the fuck on a life tap. I wonder if the crit damage. Well, it's supposed to. 8 out of 10. Ah, let's chill for a second. Let's float. Nope, nope, there we go. Let's float for a minute. Totally worth it. Totally fucking worth it. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not trying to sweat that red one, man. Yeah, that reminds me of the lazy peon when he played Dark Age of Camelot. Didn't understand the game. He was complaining that you didn't think it was very cool that, you know, mobs would follow you forever. Uh oh, this is looking bad. Block. Give me a block, baby. Come on. 
Give me a block. Oh, it's not looking good. Come on, baby. Give me a block. Gotta get your arm up, bud. I know you're tired. Well, that helps, but I need more than that. Come on. Thank God for the live taps. Good, good. Oh, it's too close for comfort. Later, idiotic. Catch you later, bud. Appreciate you hanging out, man. Try to stay warm. I know it's cold as hell where you're at. Alright, 10 out of 10. Get the fuck out of here. Come to me, my trusty steed. He says, fuck no, get out of the water. I'm not coming here to get in the water. Get out of the water. I'll go back and turn these in. Go, go, go. Yeah, we'll go turn these in. And then I'll go ahead and, uh, and, and, and cut it for the day. I'll be back tomorrow, just more streaming. Turn in. When I come back and play later this afternoon, I gotta go get some pots. I'm level 30 now, get some pots. Spend that money that I got. That my buddy Synthel gave me. And that's a hard left. All right, so a couple, couple bubs away. Well, I don't need to be here anymore, so we'll do. What was that red marker for? What red marker? In game? What was that red marker for? On the map? The quest icon above the NPC. Above Reve? Reeve? When I turned in? It was red instead of blue. Yeah, I don't understand why either. I, I don't get it. I don't know why they're blue. I thought they were all supposed to be yellow. I saw a couple that were blue. Uh, uh, you said you saw one that was red. Yeah, yeah, you had like a, a crimson tint to it. I don't know, bud. Honestly, that's that's a great damn question. 
I don't know if like if it's broken because yellow should mean you can get a quest. I thought blue meant you could turn it in or the red meant you could turn it in or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's weird. Fucking weird. That is weird. But I don't need to be here anymore. Cool deal. So let's call out. So I got a couple quests here. Let's, uh, what do we got to sell? What's up, Earthshaper? Alright, homie, let's go here. Entrance! Boom. Alright, Market Explorer. Hey, Holmes. I'm looking for some player crafted potions. Nice, there we go. Here's somebody being fucking cool. Realizing that the beta's coming into an end, and there's no need to really just shaft people with fucking prices. There you go, I'll take two strength. And that's probably all you had? Yeah, because fuck, why, why even make any more? Yeah, beta's almost done, baby. Beta's almost done. Beta's almost done. I'm gonna make a big old fucking banner and I'm gonna raffle that off. Forty-two strength, strength. You're a jerk. So, dexterity. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if it's sold out. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It's the same guy, same, same, uh. Okay, get some of the lights. Oh, cool. I guess that means that they're sold out and it just hasn't been updated. No. Okay, well, I got some. Good deal, so now I need to get back to... Sierra Ulfwich. Alright. Alright, guys, now's a good time to go ahead and stop. Um, 
and I'll take a break, grab something to eat. I'll come back and play later on this afternoon. Maybe I'll stream it, but if not, I'll definitely catch you tomorrow. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Tomorrow we're going to have some cooler stuff, and you guys can help me figure out what, what looks cool and more enjoyable to stare at while you're watching somebody else play a video game. <laughs> Appreciate Synthal jumping in and hanging out, Uni. It's a pleasure talking to you. Talope, uh, idiot, uh, idiotic, you guys are cool hanging out. Makes the game way more uh, uh, exciting when you're chatting with other people, dude. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be good. Be safe. Try to stay warm.